Hello everyone, I'm talking about on the big subject of how to make it, how to become a success. In the last video I explained how in New York City as a kid, 16 year old kid, how I networked, how I met everybody I could on the streets, the artists and the photographers. And through meeting and meeting and meeting, and I must have met like 50 different guys that I got friendly with and posed for. Maybe that's exaggerating. Maybe it was 20. I don't know. But it was a lot of guys. I finally met the editor of Fawcett Books, who was another pervert. They're all perverts. <laughs> and um, he introduced... And one night, he's, he told me about Andre de Dienest, and then one night he said to me, he was coming over, and I was there. I was there in the studio, you know. He's a married guy with a studio where he's probably trying to make it with other girls besides me. But although I didn't see any, you know, he was, he, this guy, Adolf Barrow, was so ugly. You didn't have to put three bags on him to uh, do him. But anyway, this is Andre Didienis. This is a book that I, well, let's see, when is it, wait, let me see, when is it copyrighted? This is a recent, it's St. Martin's Press, St. Martin's Press, let me see now, copyrighted, when, 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 come on, come on, 19, oh, 1985, copyrighted 1985. So that is way, 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 you know, when he met me, it was 1961. All right, Marilyn Mona Moore. Marilyn Mona Moore by Andre de Dienes. And it contains all the pictures, a lot of the pictures he took of her when she was a nobody. <clears throat> of course, he had met her before me, way before me. I think he met her in the 50s when she was a nobody. Maybe it was the 40s. I don't know. Uh, but she was just beginning. She was the same place I was at. There was a agent, a lady named Snively. When I was in Hollywood, I, I, I talked to her on the phone. And, okay, this is Marilyn Monroe. Well, you can't see this. Let me... Let me keep turning it so you can get something you can see. There you go. This is Marilyn Monroe when she started. Andre de Dienes photographed her. All right, another one. There you go. I don't know how old she was, maybe 17 or something, close to my age. Innocent, sweet girl. Just an innocent, sweet girl, but a very hard-working girl. Brown hair, light brown, like not dark brown, like medium, medium light brown hair. And so he told me all the stories about Marilyn and how he laid her. Of course, every one of these scumbags has to lay us, right? Every one of them. Every dirty scumbag has to have sex with us. So he maneuvered her into having sex with him. I'll tell you the story some other time. I just can't take it right now. Just even think about it. It makes me sick. Because I know what, what she felt. I know what she went through. We all feel like that. We all... We all feel, you know, used, and, and we're sick of it. We're sick of these fucking um, whack jobs, perverts, creeps. <coughs> every, <coughs> every creep we meet, <coughs> excuse me, every creep we meet wants to have sex. Every creep. I see, see now, notice the backlight there behind her head. The backlight is a very important, I'm a photographer now. The backlight is an important principle of, of beautiful and glamorous photography. A backlight makes 
it look alive. You see, alive. Okay. Do I? What do I think about his photography of Marilyn Monroe? I think it sucks. That's my opinion. <laughs> it sucks. <laughs> see, he knew he was good with the camera, but he didn't know how to help her with her grooming and her costumes. See, I provide costumes and grooming to all my models, my male and female models. I provide costumes, clothing, jewelry, grooming. I tell them how to pose. I don't think he told her anything. I don't think he knew anything. So if he got a professional who knew how to pose, who was really good at it, then the pictures came out good. And she was good because she's very hard working, very hard working. This is Meryl Monroe talking about Andre Didienis, the man who took me from New York to California. And this is his book that was published in 1985 called Marilyn Mona Moore, My Love. She was his love, but he wasn't her love, I can guarantee you that. Here's a picture he took. This is when she's starting out, when she's still a nobody, just an innocent young girl trying to be a model. Innocent young girl. And this is the guy that took the pictures there, Andre de Dienes. And he stayed taking pictures of her for years, even after she became famous. I'll show you. At the end of the book, it'll show you. And he's so stupid, he took a lot of these pictures and he crossed them out. I never cross out my pictures of my models, because you never know what you might want to use in the future. You just never know. This was... He took them to scenic places, very scenic, beautiful places, out in California. Or oh, I'm not sure where some of these were. But he took her on a trip. Well, when you take them on trips, then you can try to lay them while you've got them out there, you know. That's the modus operandi. See how young and innocent she is? Not sexy. None of this is sexy. It's all innocent stuff. Now this is pretty, very pretty. Let me get to the end. We'll show the, the book some other time because it'll take like 10 minutes to go through it. Let's cut to the end. Here she's getting a bit more glamorous. A bit more glamorous. This is, he must have taken pictures of her many times. Now she's getting more sophisticated. Better outfits. Good modeling for artistic modeling. This is Meryl Monroe with the photographer Andre de Dienes, who took me to California when I was 16. A creep, a, just like most men, scumbag, creep. Meryl Monroe. While I was with him in his house in Hollywood, a beautiful house with skylights, now you see she's getting more glamorous now, or maybe because it's by the beach, because the other pictures were more, was more clothing. This is a little bit more attractive and provocative, a little bit more. Okay. He's so stupid he crossed out a lot of the pictures like they were no good. They were all good. Of her, because it's her, she's valuable. But he didn't realize how valuable she was. You know, she was just a naive little girl to him. Okay, let me get to where she becomes a movie star. She's very simple, very uh, innocent, naive, and simple. Okay, this is a little bit more sophisticated now. She's becoming the Marilyn we're, that we're a little bit more familiar with. Yeah, she's pretty there, very pretty. 
Here's a big one. <laughs> so that's Marilyn Mona Moore, Andre Didienis, the sleaze bucket who took me to California from New York when I was 16. To be continued.